We might have needed that to be in one piece, my dude. Let's see. Good job. I hope you don't believe in bad luck. <laughs> oh, that's going to come back and bite us. <laughs> oh, it'll be fine. Let's go ahead and take the crest of Sir Duncan. <laughs> so we got our choices here. In fact, fuck it. Safe state. That's how, that's how sure I am. Oh, my God. The store is locked. This door is locked. Door's locked. This door. This door just won't open. <laughs> well, we've got some keys. Yeah, I don't know which one. Which. Okay, so I got this new key under the carpet. Let's see where this goes. Hey, there we go. So key four opened that. Will key four open the others? No, it doesn't fit. And will key four work on this one? No. Okay. I also have... I thought I had key five somewhere. Here it is. Here's key six. So let's try using that. Yeah, there we go. Click. That door's open. Mm -hmm. And do we have key five? Yes, we do. There we go. Okay, we have all the doors open. Uh, I'll let you choose where we go next. Um, well, uh, let's go to the middle one, bottom. Bottom middle? Middle, bottom middle, yeah. Middle, middle, bottom middle? In the bottom middle lot? Yeah, yeah, that one right there. Alright, it's just a little middle, in the bottom. Why do you hang out with me? <laughs> <laughs> I've been asking myself that for 20 years. Oh, this 30, song! 30 years! <laughs> 30 years. Go to door four. Uh, which one was door four? <laughs> you have entered a smoke corridor. Two arched doorways wait patiently for you. They long for you. They wait. They eager for your body to go through them. Enter those doorways. Let me take these torches first. I can feel their lust. Uh, you know what? You have to put, choose last time, so I'll choose this time. I'm gonna go right. You're in a small throne room with a skeleton okay. wearing a gold crown that sits in front of a throne in front of you. Not just a throne, not just any throne. A throne on a rug. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> the slutty passageway. <laughs> so I remember this, but let's look, let's look at the king first. Although he looks dead enough, the royal skeleton sends shivers down your spine. There seems to be something in his hand. Uh, it's a halberd. I don't... What the fuck? Okay. So this is what the scepter was for. Oh, nope. I passed it. Nope. No, I passed, passed it more. Okay, there we go. Sometimes I get excited and my fingers move before my mind does. Okay. Nice. As soon as you give the scepter to the skeleton, the seal of the pillar opens. You can now see a ring-shaped hole. Uh, I don't have any rings. There we were. Oh, this is Sir Duggan. Carving of a sword. I think we need a ring for that. Well, I don't know where that's at, so we'll have to go back. Yeah, I think so, too. Let me try and take this axe. You can't take it. Oh, Take his crown. He's so take incredulous. Oh, shit. I should have taken this crown. Thank you. No, you can't take it, either. I would have worn that fancy hat. Now, if we had the rod, we could do this next room, because I remember this next room. Hang on a second, I gotta get my, my lightning sound effects ready. Crash! Boom! Crash! Boom! Okay. <laughs> From this windy ledge, you can get the idea of the size and strength of the castle. So, there needs to be a rod that you put there, and I don't remember why, but we don't have it, so it doesn't matter. Good. We don't have a, we do have a poker. Oh my god. You're right, I think the poker is it. 
Uh, lightning starts with the strength of you. Point of blah blah blah. Oh, how are we outside and the torch is threatening to go out? Son of a fuck. Alright, what are we looking at? Pot of gold. The leprechaun must have skipped town. That looks like a trap. Canvas pouch that looks to be quite light. Close inspection reveals some druidic script on it. It's the outdoor wind. Let's open the bag. Bag three is open. Ah, there we go. Big coin. Gold coin, gold coin, gold coin. Now, if you look at the gold coins, this coin has the mark that looks like a human skull. These are the ones you give to the ferryman. And then the big coin, I don't remember. A large gold coin with a well engraved on it. I guess if it's a wishing coin. I mean, should I take the pot of gold? Um. <laughs> save stage. I mean, save. It's gonna kill you. Yep, yep, well, you know. <laughs> You've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Ah, uh, yes, the pot of gold on a crumbly ledge. A I use that one all the time. <laughs> oldest <laughs> trick in the book. It's not. <laughs> It's not the first <laughs> trick in the book, but it's the one that was written first. <laughs> right. You're knee-deep in a moat. It seems that the alligators really enjoy your company. Wait, it wasn't enough that I fall and hurt myself, but I fall into a moat and was eaten by alligators. <laughs> no, you played cards. They enjoyed your company. Oh, you oh, oh was, okay. I, sorry, I was trying to read between the lines. That, that's just death. He joined into the card game. It's like uh, a, a human, three crocodiles, and death. And uh, we have coins to play with. All right, let me... See. Poker. Poker. Let's play poker. Oh, there it is. Oh, you missed it. There it is. There we go. It's an animate crab and rod. Nothing happened. Fuck. Nah. I think I just need the rod. Yeah. Okay, uh, Doom Lad, uh, left or right? And I'll just wait a little bit for him to catch up on that. Give me a chance to take a sip of my drink. Left, he says. Okay. Hey, there's a silver horn. That was easy. Fervent heat. Can I take those torches? Flame burns with a brazier, lighting the entire room. I feel like we should be able to take these braziers with us and just walk around with them like pimps. And just, <laughs> nev we never have to worry about the flames going out again. Torches. You know when you touch that horn. Yeah, the hellhound shows up, but we have the, we have the holy water, so we're alright. Flawless platinum, it's beautiful, beauty is unbelievable. I don't believe it. <laughs> A large, fat, adorable hellhound suddenly appears in the room, the causing you to shield your eyes. When you open them, you notice that the fire has changed into some some kind of capybara. <laughs> <laughs> like that dog is obviously doing the play bow. He's ready for a for a ball. <laughs> they had to edit out his tail, otherwise it'd be wagging back and forth. <laughs> right. The holy water has sent the hellhound back to... I'm sorry, the hell capybara back to the place where it spawned. Good boy. <laughs> the flame tied out. The room is quiet as though nothing had happened. Okay, now take the horn. All right, we now have the horn, which is like one-fourth of what we need to win the game. 
What in shit's um, name? I don't remember this. It's the Wavern. The Wyvern? Wavern? Commander Tomato? As you stand at the turret, an eerie blue dragon appears in the clear starry sky. Uh, hi, Toothy. It's the Wiv Wyvern. This beastie is a distant cousin of a dragon, but is smaller and fiercer. Um, um, let's hit it. I remember this. I no, 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 don't, don't hit it. I remember this one. Uh, you have there is a uh, there's an observatory around here somewhere we have to find. Okay, I seem to remember the observatory as well. I know that the right door down in the hall leads to the uh, really hot chick that's chained into a tower and sets off all kinds of weird feelings in my childhood self. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you're right. I don't think we're ready for this room yet. we going to start from the telescope room, he says. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Oh, here he is. Okay, we have here to remember the pattern on the right-hand side. I will get paper and pencil. Give me just a second. You don't need the star from the telescope room. Oh, you do need the star from the telescope. Okay, that's right, you do. I and now I remember you use the star. I remember. It's one of the few puzzles I remember. All right. It is three up. It is two up, right hand down. It is one up, two down. And it is finally uh, an inverted middle finger. There we are. <laughs> Such a weird puzzle. Not really. You have a shooting star to, to kill the bastard, right? Okay. We talk to the Sphinx. Let me save. And the Sphinx will ask a, po uh, a, a riddle. And we give him an item for that riddle. So let's speak with him. It doesn't seem to understand what you say. Let's use him. Nothing happened. Let's let's move him. There we go. Who are you? No one may pass without my permission. To mass to pass you must answer a riddle. Long neck, no hands, ten. 100 legs cannot stand. Born of a forest nest. Against the wall I rest. Dost thou know? Bring me the answer to my riddle. And I shall let thee pass. This is what the broom was for. And, point of order, we can now make brooms stand. It was a meme, like a year ago, or two. You have correctly answered my riddle, warrior. Thou may now pass. You know, I think we only have to do this like one or two times. You may pass. You can pass. <laughs> Th thank you. No need to yell. Get moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the telescope is on the window. Star map is on the wall. This must be the observatory. Well, first off, let's let's not even look at it. Let's just open this parchment. The scroll five is open. <clears throat> You've read the scroll. Observing the stars, the throne constellations appear once every five summers. Legend says that it has a portal to another land. Oh my God! This guy is trying to isekai his way out of this reality. Get like do. Yeah, get Truck Coon. Let's just take the star. I'll look at it. Ornate carving of a shooting star. The object is made of silver and is extremely heavy. Map of the known galaxy. You can see a billion, billions and billions, billions of stars. And billions of stars. Yeah. Just send over Truck Coon. You know that that's a uh, a nod to Sagan, right? 
Yeah, but it's kind of funny. He never actually said that. I I know. But everybody but... thinks he did. Or, you know, Mandela effect or whatever. Right. Uh, this is only loosely attached to the wall, which means we can burn it. Use torch. On map. Because it's loosely... No, wait a minute! It's best if you don't do that! I can't take it. Alright, let's open it. Can't burn it. The star map is open. Oh, see, I would have missed that. Vader never said, Luke, I am a... Yeah, he says, no, I am your father. Oh, this is the rod, right? Yeah, it's a rod made of cast iron, so that's what I'm supposed to uh, use or grab. Just give me, give me that, give me that fucking rod. There we are. I guess we'll take this scroll too. Let's look through the telescopes. As you peer through the telescopes, you are amazed by the clarity of the night sky. Do we do anything with the telescopes? I can't remember. I don't think so. Through this portal, you can see the moon hovering over a giant dragon! <laughs> Through this portal, you can also see the moon. Wait. What? Are there two moons? Because we can see... Is it... What? Round wooden table. I guess we'll go upstairs. Let me save first, because I definitely want to be killed by the hot chick. You're so captivated by the woman's beauty, but you, you momentarily forget her pred pr predicament. Yes, in the moonlight, she's even more beautiful. The full moonlight. I feel oh. things. Yep, there's the moon hovering over the deck. All windows point towards the moon. All windows point towards the them. moon. Uh, it is a wizard's castle. Yeah, well, let's 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 talk to her. Doesn't seem she doesn't seem to. It doesn't seem yeah, to understand. It what doesn't she, seem. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it's true. We might be dealing with a trans uh, transgender individual, but I think calling it might be a little bit rude. I mean. That is definitely not progressive. No, man, no. Get woke. Um, let's hit her. Well, I'm going to want to hit on her. <laughs> hey, um, come, come here often. <laughs> I chant to a wall. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> are you hurt Did anywhere hurt? <laughs> from falling out of <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I miss my wife so much because I could just use these cheesy one-liners at her all the time and she rolled her eyes in the best way possible. But I think come here often is probably the best worst pickup line. Especially when you're... God damn it. Also, is it me or does she look really well fed? Like, she's kind of thick? Well, she enjoys a burger here and there. <laughs> alright, alright. Um... Let's take her. You can't take it. There it is again. <laughs> it. Um. There's sword. Use sword on self. You thrust the sword into your chest. Blood begins to flow. Suicide won't the help fuck? with your quest. <laughs> the warlock lord will surely triumph now. Job. <laughs> hey, I did what was right. Right in front of her, too. She must be mortified. Oh, my God. <laughs> Could you take off this hello, chain? lady. <laughs> Hang on a second. I got to Hello, gotta lady. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dost thou come here often? Stab! <laughs> I shall now impress you with sword swallowing. I've never done this before. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing up my sleeve. Stab! 
<laughs> it says you tap yourself in the chest and didn't say from which direction. It could have been trying to do sword swallowing. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. But Christ, my throat hurts. Hang on. I need to get a cough oh. drop. <laughs> All right, all right. <laughs> it seemed like the right thing to do. <laughs> all right, let's let's die properly now. Um, like they drop hints, right? They drop hints because the moon is coming through the window. Uh, open. You, you can't, you can't open her dress. The fine lass lies upon the floor, chained to the wall. She's extremely beautiful. Leave. <laughs> Leave her. You can't drop what you didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take the, because, I mean, the trap is she's right next to the blade, right? Right. So you grab the blade, and oh, with a loud roar, the wolf pounces on you, taking your life. I'll just have that off you. Wait, no, I need that. <laughs> the wolf powerful jaws rock from your throat. It's a bad thing. Okay. So what a weird thing, right? What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to see this woman. And you're like, well, how do I get past her? Well, if you know, I want to rescue her. I don't want to kill her or anything. Because she can't contain this situation. And I don't know why the chains aren't on her when she changes, right? So maybe we use, like, the poker or something to grab it. No, no. No, just kill her. Just just use sword on woman. Just just like that. The loud roar of the wolf pounces. Like, what? No, I thought... Wait, wait. No. That was supposed to... Um... <laughs> <laughs> um... Uh... <laughs> Okay, now we gotta think about this, because I'm wrong. What? Um... What other weapons we got? What other weapons we got? Let's... Okay, we got a rod, which I guess is like a lightning rod. Yeah, but that's not it. We don't uh, horn... We're not gonna stab her with a horn. Use silver. Alright. Uh, the flute... No, the flute's wood. Um... Is it a silver poker? Was I right that we do use the poker? Black iron poker? No. Alright, alright. Let's keep going. Is the horseshoe silver? Uh, no. It's just taking a beating. The sword is not silver. Right? Double-edged broadsword. Handle and the grip. Okay. Pretty sure the hammer isn't silver, and that wouldn't make sense anyway. Nah. Is there the arrow go. silver? Yeah, finally crafted silver arrow. Okay, this is the this is it. There you go. Your aim is true as you plunge the silver into the beautiful woman. The what beautiful lady suddenly transforms into a... Yeah, what a bitch. Into a wolf. It's Maxwell's silver hammer coming down upon her head. Maxwell's silver hammer making sure that she is dead. <laughs> anyway, here's the bladed sun. Some sort of spike so that's made of precious that, metal. Ouch, the tip is as sharp as needles. So the, what? It was, it was a were lady. She wasn't a werewolf. So... I've talked about this, right? With, um... With Jeff. With my dad. And I don't remember what we came to terms with. That what if there was a were-human. Like, right? Because were means human. When you say were-wolf, you're saying human-wolf. Season 11 of X-Files did this. Yeah, it One did. the first episode. Yeah. Anyway, it's a uh, it's a wolfware. 
I think that's, that's, a, that's the only thing I could think of because it means the same thing. It's wolfware. There's got to be D and D rules for this, right? <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I think we got everything we need from this place. What? Every month on the full moon, <laughs> you get you come back and get a job as a accountant. <laughs> The number crunching. The number crunching! Okay. So let's backtrack to all the places we had once been. And get the lightning rod in place. Now that we have it. It's like... Did you see the Where Dad comic? Oh no! I'm turning into my dad! I gotta build a deck! Guess he had to be there. Suddenly, the sky seems to be on fire as bolts of pure lightning strike the rod. You were startled to see a skeletal hand rise from a hole that formed at your feet. What? <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey, mister! <laughs> Take this wand! <laughs> uh... Thanks! <laughs> the wand is in hand! As you take the wand, the skeletal hand begins to descend. The hole then closes up as if the hand never was there. <laughs> what if I did this to you in our games? What if I did this bullshit to you? <laughs> like, okay, a hole opens up in the wall, and a skeletal hand comes out, and it's holding a scroll. Hey, mister. <laughs> Message for you, sir. Let's look at the wand. Do we get the save state, though? Oh, uh, we can. <laughs> it's a wand of sorts carved in the side of the wand with a small picture of a serpent. Hey! That's The it. serpent. That's what... That's what it is. <clears throat> so, blow, blow the flute real quick. I mean, sure. Use flutes. Okay, I'm using the flute. Now, hit, and I hit it one more time. Yeah, I, I know where you're going with this, but I'll let you do your thing, because you, I might be wrong. So, that little tune right there, mm -hmm. um, there there's a... It's uh, from Deja Vu. For Doomland, it's from Deja Vu. That's the music... <clears throat> that or the main theme uh, for Deja Vu is yeah they, they, that little the, flute the first few notes are from that and yeah. they do the same thing in Uninvited you can play the theme for Shadowgate somewhere I just don't remember because it was one game after the other right right it was um Deja Vu, Shadowgate, and Uninvited. And not... None of them in the same world. No. No, they really weren't. Although you could say I was going to play Deja Vu about ten years ago, but didn't. No, play it. It's good. It is the first of its kind, so it's kind of... rough. But, you know, it's pretty good. They, they took Infocom games. Right? Yeah, they took Infocom and they said, let's make this a picture game. Right. Stick with me, dragon. You're gonna be a star! The star becomes a flash of light as you launch it. Crash! It strikes the wyvern and it explodes into well, a million pieces. How would you? There's. How would you know that? I mean, it's obvious. You see a blue dragon, you think, "Oh, I gotta hit this with a with an astronomy star." Huh? My only problem with these games. When, uh, you, oh, this is your only. Like. <clears throat> Because even even the the wand there, you know, it shows a picture of a a snake on it. It gives a hint. Yeah, 
I, and not all of these puzzles are like that, right? Maybe that's too obvious? It's snake time, boys. <laughs> 